Okay, third time's the charm. Hey guys, it's Andy here. Alright, there's something uh, I really want to talk about. I'm going to have to do two videos today, so look up for the second one. As I just need to keep these separate so the videos aren't too long. Alright, so we've got this to deal with, to look at. Right. Alright, so this is, um, this is the design for a high drain BMS. Um, so normal BMSs can only do like 30, 50, 80 milliamps of uh, drain when balancing the batteries. Well, with supposedly with um, a transistor that looks like this, but uh, PNP versus NPN transistor, so I have the wrong one. I supposedly need this guy, but I'm going to look into if I can use these because I have a whole bag full of these guys from when I was doing my jewel ringer um, light bulbs back like five years ago. I have YouTube videos about that as well. Um, but anyway, so um, this this is, um, so if you're not on these sites, so if you should be on the Facebook group DIY Powerwalls. Um, that's run by Peter Matthews. He's in Australia. So you should definitely join that Facebook group and Jehu DIY Power Walls. Um, you should also join that Facebook group because there's a lot of sharing of information and knowledge. Right? So this post by Ed Brisenio. So this is what he showed. It's really hard to. So this is the diagram he wrote up. It just requires a resistor. So based off this resistor here, you can have 1.7 amps, 2.5, or 3, which is extremely high balancing amperage, uh, meant for very large um, power walls. Okay, and then there's another design where it has an LED indicator telling you when it's activated, which is a, you should definitely have. <laughs> just so you understand what's when it's being used. These things can get pretty hot, these transistors, so maybe it would need heat sinks as well. It's a little bulky. So I don't know, uh, requires more testing in my opinion. But anyways, it sparked uh, quite a bit of debate of people saying it does work, it doesn't. He made a video, which I wish he had muted the audio before publishing it, so even me asking questions. Then he posted this link, so I assume this is his little website um, talking about it. So the dummy load, so basically the transistor is a dummy load. He's got some examples of what he's working on. And see this one uses the 2N3055, which is what I have. But this is far more complicated. There's way too many parts compared to his, his other design, unfortunately. So you can see... Uh, power flows from positive to negative, and then all these parts. So this is a standalone um, BMS, I guess. Uh, this switch is a boost switch to make it even more drain. But um, yeah, supposedly that's like a standalone BMS, I guess. So anyways, uh, it's a lot of information down the pipe. But anyways, most of this doesn't really matter that much. A lot of people asking but definitely join those groups um guys i recommend it so um that set aside let's see what i came up with so i first tried to write the diagram like this that's way too confusing and messy i do not have the transistors that he says you need so maybe that doesn't matter yeah i'm not really sure so anyways, this is what, so this is the battery, negative and positive, and this is the transistor. And then a, uh, I decide with a 200 ohm resistor to drain 1.7 amps just to be safe. And then, so basically, right, we'd have, you'd want a fuse, preferably buy really small fuses. Um, you don't need these, you could have them on holders, I guess. But you'd want like, maybe like a 2 2 amp quick blow fuse in a holder maybe it doesn't really matter you could use switchblade fuses too maybe if you find them so basically um, you just need seven of these parts and then one of these this is cheap this is probably the easiest way to BMS um, your packs in my opinion 
So, um, anyways, you'd have the fuse, the resistor, and then the transistor, and then it'd go up to, um, say, the battery, right? The battery holder. Um, just like in the circuit diagram. And then you would, so where the fuse is, would then connect right here on each one, right? So that's where you'd connect. And basically, the BMS, this part up here, would be, they each look at each other and decide if they're all similar to each other, plus or minus a few millivolts. And then it sends a signal out. So that signal normally goes here and, uh, I don't know, it like allows them to start draining. These resistors are what drains it, so... You could change these resistors, make them beefier, if you wanted, instead of doing all this. But I don't know if this circuit could handle it, to be honest. Um, I doubt it, because it's not just the resistor. There has to be power flow, I assume, through this guy here. Because it has to be able to flow from one to the other. So you got to be careful, guys. Um, and I'm going to be looking into this more. That's a little tricky. So each one of these resistors or fuse, you'd have an indicator, a 1K resistor, and an LED. Uh, it gets to be a little bit hectic to build the thing, and it's going to be bulky. It looks like it'll turn into a really bulky system, only because of this part, the transistor. And then they'd have to be on heat sinks, so it could get pretty big, guys. So anyways, um, the circuit then basically sends power to here, which then tells this transistor to short circuit the battery. So transistors are like a gatekeeper. This resistor limits how much the gate can open, and that's why you get a max of 1.7. And where is it? With that image, it even says here, so the lower the resistor, the higher the amperage, because the gatekeeper has less resistance to opening up the gate and allowing a short circuit, allowing, um, allowing, you know, it to drain itself through a short circuit. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but I'm just going to be looking into it because um, it opens slightly. So it's like a resistor that changes. It's like a potentiometer or resistor, the way that they're using it here. And yeah, so I don't know guys, I don't know. But anyways, on this guy that's really cheap, it's easy to see where you have to connect in. Because he's got this picture here, and it shows very clearly where to connect in. But on this guy, okay, I see these resistors here. but And then there's all this. So somewhere, somewhere in here, like there's so many of these. There's twice as many of these transistors. Like, uh, are these the same type of transistor as this guy here. That's why there's twice as many to allow even more balancing potential. So I don't think I would use one of these guys. This is a 50 amp BMS. Now I've got a bunch of these transistors and I'm pretty sure one of them is a um, is the right type. It won't do as good of a job. There we go. Alright, J13007, TAC2, so I've got a bunch of those, so I'm thinking that those will do the same job as this, just not as well, not as high of an amperage drain. And I've got all these transistors I was looking through. Alright, so there's that, and for some reason my phone won't focus, so for this guy it's very easy again to see where where you would um, tap in you tap in right there at the top of the each one of these resistors for this guy I ordered another one of these there we go nope. so I ordered another one of these that's a little bit different that supposedly has an 80 amp microamp milliamp 80 milliamp um, balancing but uh, we'll We'll look into it further. I'm going to make another video talking about other points, but this was the only point I wanted to make in this video because I was looking through all of my YouTube videos and 
like I looked at my channel, right, and I looked at how many views I was having, and I definitely need to, like, stop doing generalization videos, because the ones that are popular are ones that have more direction to them, so, like, some of them have decent direction, others don't, right, of course, uh, look at this, 666, <laughs> but yeah, some of them, for very little explanation, they have tons of views, and other ones, it's clear, because they're easy to follow, so yeah, um, I'm gonna try and make more, um, topic focus videos, and I, I'm gonna try and get away from, uh, very generalized, um, you know, uh, monthly update videos. I don't think those are very helpful. I'm still gonna do them. I'm gonna do, like, update videos where, like, I go over, like, new, like I mentioned, new subscribers and comments from, uh, from people. But I'm gonna make videos, separate videos, that are more focused, like this one, where it only talks about this, um, you know, this, this topic. So that's what I'm gonna do in the future. And anyways, uh, yeah, so there will be, basically it means I'll be making more videos, but shorter videos, because it's just breaking up all the videos into directional courses. I'm, I'm just repeating myself at this point. Anyways, thanks guys, please comment and let me know what you think of this. Obviously, I don't think I can use this guy, although I have a feeling I can tap into the, these tiny transistors here to do this, but... I don't want to do it to this guy. I'm pretty sure I can, my first prototype is going to be this. Um, I have enough of these, I think, that I'm pretty sure they're NPNs or PNPs. They're these guys. Please, you know, let me know what you think, because it's, it's very intriguing. It's a high drain BMS, right? How can you say no? Especially when it's this cheap and simple, just solder, 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 done. So to speak, right? I'd put it into like a plastic casing of some kind with a heat sink across um, all the transistors. You'd have to seven of these, or even these would be preferred because they can be really low profile. So I might look into that instead because these are the um, 15 amp max. Right? Um, I haven't bothered to look into these specifically, these values. It's been a while, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can find transistors like this one that will do 1.7 amps because these are designed to handle up to 15 amps as it says right here so anyways uh, comment uh, if you like the video if you found this fascinating please hit like um, I don't make money off of making these videos I just you know it makes me feel good give me those dopamine hits Give me that dopamine. Hit that like button. <laughs> Anyways, sorry guys. Long video. Uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. See ya.